Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and today I thought, it's actually a Monday, you guys. My scarf looks crazy on video. Today I thought I would uh, turn the camera on and, and cook my meal, my Monday evening meal with you. We're going to cook Monday dinner instead of Sunday dinner, which is different. Um, So, not doing a whole lot. Gonna put some chicken wings in the air fryer. I wanted to put them on the grill, but it's hot. It's hot out there, y'all. It's July, what is it, 13th? Y'all see that? I took those little balls off the end of the, um, you know, the wicks of the candle. Take those balls off. It balls up after you burn it once. I take those off before I light it so it don't be crackling and popping. And I accidentally touched my shirt. So forgive me for that. But anyway, I'm not doing much. I was going to put some wings on the grill, but it's hot out there. It's July 13th. We in summer now, y'all. And it, it's just hot. So I'm going to put them in the air fryer. Um, Got some squash out the garden. I'm going to saute that with some uh, bell pepper and onion. And I may do some yellow rice. I may not. We still got some dressing leftover from sunday dinner i know i didn't turn on the stove but yeah we had uh we had a nice meal we had some dressing and cranberry sauce homemade macaroni and cheese collard greens fried chicken yeah we did it up too much going on to, to you know turn the camera on but so anyway let's go ahead and get started before we do though i want to show you what the garden looks like now so i'm gonna take the camera off the tripod tripod and we will go outside and take a look at the garden if you've been following me on this channel or on see me vlogs then you know we have a garden and i'll link the other videos above uh so you can see where this garden came from but let me turn around and show you where we are now. all right this is what the garden looks like now y'all it looks so good these big plants here are squash these humongous plants are squash if you look just through there see that yellow that's gonna be a squash see those they're coming in oh here we are you see it they're coming, y'all. Can you see them in there? See all my little squash coming? So those are squash. So excited about those. And then over here, we have some collards. Love it, love it, love it. So those collards are over there on the other side of the squash. Some more right here. These are collards. All of these are collards. Don't mind that white powder. That white powder actually prevents uh, different bugs and stuff from eat eating them up. It's actually safe to eat for us, but not for them. Just have to clean them with a little more care. But all of those are collards. And then these babies are turnips here. And then those are a different type of turnip. The turnip here actually is a red bottom turnip. So you can cook the bottoms. I'll put a picture of what that looks like when it's ready. And these turnips are just for the greens. So yeah, that's it. That's the garden, you guys. Look how much it's grown since I first showed you. And then on the way in the house, I'll show you the tool shed. There is a window going in there and I'll probably insert the clip of my husband putting the window in.
So yeah. That's what it looks like. See the privacy fence in the back? He didn't finish that either, but he got started. Looking good, you guys. It's really looking good. I'm really excited um, for the direction of our property. Ooh, and I just wanted to share. Y'all see how the sun blazing out here? Yeah, it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. So let's go ahead and get dinner. Gotta wash my hands again. I'll try to remember to keep you following me. I don't have you on the gimbal today. The gimbal actually follows me on its own. I probably should go get it because I got it charged up. But I kind of like this tripod. Kind of like this tripod better when I'm in the kitchen. So, Plus, I have to sit the gimbal up so high because its tripod sits so low. So I have to kind of rig it on my camera tripod and uh, it sits up so high and it's not stable. So we're gonna try to work it out with this one. So the first thing we're gonna do is clean and season. We're gonna clean and season the chicken. So I had the chicken in this pan and I'm gonna take you off the meat and put you on the food so you can see. All right. Okay. So I had the chicken in, in this pan and cold water. Ooh, that's cold. Unthawing. Now we're gonna get it cleaned up. I hope that's not my husband because I haven't done anything. So let's get it clean. Get that chicken nice and clean. If you've seen me before, you know that when I clean my chicken, I like to put a little cap full of vinegar and this just really cuts the salt and helps to get the chicken clean. You can also do that for um, veggies. They have a veggie wash, but it has vinegar in it. And you can put pure vinegar in your veggies when you're cleaning them to help get them nice and clean. Doesn't have to sit in there long. But you can just see. The difference in the water. After you do it. So this, I'm going to dry this chicken. So I'm going to put it in a strainer. So I can get it as dry as possible. I like to season my chicken dry. I don't want it sitting in the water and I don't want all my seasoning being diluted by the water that it's sitting in. So after I clean it, I pat it dry with a paper towel and then I can get those seasonings on there and the seasons stick to the chicken, not float in the water. You know what I mean? This is, if you ever heard of bouillon cubes, the little cubes that make like the chicken stock, this is the bouillon powder. It's the bouillon, the chicken flavor bouillon, but it's in a powder form. And you can use this to season. Oh man, and when you use this to season, you talking about some, make some good flavor, flavorful seasoning um, for your poultry meals. Mm, 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 mm. Trying to get it open so you can see what it looks like. This is some good stuff, you guys. I'm so glad I found it. I think I paid $19 for it. So that's what it looks like. It's just seasoning. It's yellow. 
And the $19, I got it on Amazon. Um, this is a 2.5 pound container. And for 19 bucks, I got both of them. So I got, not even showing you the name. Made by Noor. I got both of them. So I'll put the link to them down in the description box if you want to check them out. And if you use the link that's in the description box to purchase anything that I post, it helps me out tremendously, okay? All right. So the first thing we're going to use is onion powder. And if you've seen my cooking videos, you know I don't do measurements, right? You put in what you feel is right. I can feel if that's enough. Now we're gonna use garlic powder. I bought the, I bit the bullet and got these big containers because I use, this is all I use, you guys. The seasonings that you see me using today are the only seasonings that I use. Creole seasoning, got it from Walmart. Got these big containers of um, onion and garlic powder from a place called Food Depot, but you can find it in Walmart. And then for color, we're gonna use paprika. This is organic paprika <coughs> by Gray Bay. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Every time I sprinkle seasoning, it makes me, um, it tickles my throat. So, like I said, you just, <coughs> I feel when it's enough. So, paprika doesn't have a taste. It's for color. It makes your food a good color, a darker color. So that's why we use paprika. Very seldom do I use salt and pepper on specific things. I use onion powder, garlic powder, and Creole seasoning to flavor everything. And then when I want a little color, I use Paprika, because it makes it a, a nice golden dark color. All right, so we mix that up really well. And now we're going to get the air fryer set up. So let me show you. See how those seasonings are sticking to that chicken? There's not water in there, and the seasonings, it looks watered down. You got a good color on the seasoning because you put it on dry dry meat all right so this is the ninja foodie if you haven't seen the video where i did a review of uh, unboxing i'll link it in the description box but i love this it's the best invention e ever this ninja foodie does it all you can pressure cook steam slow cook or make yogurt sear and saute Air crisp, which is the air fryer, bake or roast or broil. Can't beat it. Making yogurt in, in a device like this, you can't beat it. All right. So anytime you use the Ninja Foodie, it has to have this pan in the inside. Anytime, whether you pressure cook, whether you pressure cook, or air fryer and i like it because it has it, it can hold up to four liters and it has um how many cups is in it on the side i don't know if you can see it it's right here but you it holds up to 18 cups and it tells you how many cups you've put in now because we're going to pressure cook we have to have the crisp basket and it sits on this so this I take it apart to clean it. It just snaps in place and that sits in there, okay? So, now we're gonna lay our chicken inside and I'll try to position you so that you can see me put the chicken in. Is that better? Can you see? All right. Those are for my folks that want to see everything. So we're going to start putting the chicken in. 
There you go. Uh oh. Lean with it. Rock with it. Okay. Let's put the chicken in. And I try to put in as many pieces as possible. I, I realize that I may have to do two batches, but I'm going to try not to. Try to do it all at one time. My husband likes his drumettes a little crisp, a little burnt. So instead of 20 minutes, we are going to probably do 30 minutes. And I only, it's full, and I only got four drumettes left. So I'm gonna squeeze them in somewhere, y'all. I'm gonna turn these puppies on their side and get them in some kind of way. One more. Okay. All right, so that's full. The only thing we need to do now is put the top down and turn it on. So let me show you what that looks like. All right. So we hit the start button to power it on. Now we're gonna hit air crisp. We want it on the 390, it's already there. That's what I used the last time. And now we hit time and it automatically goes to 20, but I'm gonna take it up to 30 minutes. And then all we have to do is hit start and it starts counting down. Now let me show you something about most air crispers. This is the second one that I have, so I know, know that multiple brands do it. If you want to check your food, all you have to do is lift up the top, and you see the time stops. You check it, you stir it, you flip it over, you put the top back down, and it automatically starts back countdown, so you don't have to touch anything else. When it finishes, it'll go to warm. It'll switch over to warm, and mine actually counts to tell you how long it's been warming but it doesn't just shut off, it moves to warm. And that, it does it even if you're using a pressure cooker. Um, so it switches to warm after it finished pressure cooking. Okay, so that's the chicken, we got the chicken going. That's the first uh, meal down. So now we are going to, I'm gonna clean up my dishes a little bit and then we are going to Get the squash going, okay? came out of our garden and I actually have four more little baby ones that are in the refrigerator I think that's too many so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up and see how it goes we'll see if that's enough if not if I have to cut up the other ones I have, um, my dishwasher is full and um, I haven't started it because I want to be able to hear. So I've been hand washing the other stuff. But y'all know I don't like to hand wash. I do what I have to do with the dishwasher. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna, as I cut them up, I'm going to put them in the strainer. So we'll leave this here. Just cut off the ends. Cause I don't use that and then you can just cut them as thin as you like them see if you can see me can you see me you can't see me okay cut them as thin as you like them I leave I'm gonna try to make them just a little thick because I don't want them just clearing up when they cook but I like them as thin as I can get them they're gonna cook down so good and they're gonna be so flavorful. And yes, you can use the little narrow end. You 
absolutely can. I should have went to the store and got me some zucchini to go with it because I like the squash and zucchini mixed together. They taste the same to me. I think I just like the color. But I'm going to fill it up with some um, colored bell pepper for color. And it's going to give it a nice flavor. And we're not doing anything special. You know, you can do a lot with squash. You can saute it. You can fry it. You can make a squash, a casserole with it. Take this isn't going to be enough onion. I'm going to grab another one because we like a lot of onion in our squash the way I'm making it today. And so I'm going to cut up some more or I'm going to grab just one more and do that. So let me grab another one. As you can see, these aren't big. If I had a, a large one, I'd probably use two. Or maybe one and a half. But these aren't big. All right. So let's cut these up. And you don't have to slice them and leave them big like I'm doing them. If you like onion in your squash the way I'm cooking mine, you can chop it up, dice it up, slice it like I'm doing it, and slice it in half if you want. I like it like this. Okay, we'll get some peppers cut up. I'm using these bite-sized mini peppers. I get these from Walmart all the time. I love color, y'all, in my food. And these peppers are perfect. I'm going to use two cups of water. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of my bouillon powder. And I mixed it up really good. I don't you want to use a whole lot because I don't want it to be too seasoned or too salty. And I'm just learning how to cook with this. So I just put in one. If I have to put in some more, I'll put it in later. All right, we add our squash and our onions and peppers to the pan. So we'll add our mixture there to the pan. And I'm going to put in, now this is going to make water. So if it's not full, it's okay. I'm going to put in my onions and peppers there on the top. Well, my peppers, because I got onion cut up. Bring my onion to the top. I just like to see it, y'all. I'm gonna do what it do on its own. This is garlic powder. Just a little bit. I'm going to taste it as it goes. Onion powder. Let it cook down. And I like to add pepper. I like a lot of pepper on my squash. Hmm, I'm not sure. Alexa, I'm not talking to you. Sorry. I thought I heard my name. <laughs> and then I use just a little salt. Just a little, not a lot. On squash. So the, I see the seasoning. We see the seasoning that's sitting on top. But as that cooks down, the juices are going to cover it. And the seasons will marinate into it on its own. So we're just going to cover it. That's so all you got to do. Cover it. I think that's the wrong lid. Let me try the oven. 
Perfect. Yum! Y'all see that? I'm gonna turn it over a little bit. So normally, I don't even touch it. But because I got it so crowded in there, I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. Uh-oh. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Doesn't that look good, y'all? Let me see what y'all see. Yeah, that looks so good. And see how that paprika gives it color? All right, so it's at 13 minutes, almost ready. We're gonna leave it alone until it's done. Okay, see you in a little bit. I put a tablespoon of oil in this cast iron skillet. And I set the oven to 450. I'll wash these in a minute. I'm going to do this on camera. I set the oven to 450. So now we're going to make some cornbread. And we're going to make some homemade cornbread because I don't have a mix to use. We like real cornbread. And I used to be able to find this mix by Martha White that tastes just like real cornbread. But I haven't been able to find that lately. So we are going to make a real cornbread. And I believe I've made a real cornbread before. But I'll go ahead and uh, do it again. Okay, so you need two cups of any type of meal. This is yellow meal. You can use white meal. You can use any type of meal you want. Two cups of meal. All right, this is uh, Martha White yellow cornmeal. So we got two cups of meal. You want to use one large egg. So don't get offended. You don't have to put this in. You're going to use a fourth cup of oil. Now, normally I don't do measurements, but I've got the perfect recipe, and I know exactly what goes in it for this cornbread. Fourth cup of oil, and you're going to do a cup. And a third cup of milk, okay? The best milk is sour milk. If the milk is spoiled and you make cornbread from time to time, sit it in the back of the refrigerator. It makes an excellent cornbread. It makes it taste, it's like a buttermilk cornbread. And that's exactly what buttermilk is. It's spoiled milk. All right, so I'll show you what it looks like. This is the mix. You just mix it all up. That oil makes it moist, and it gives it that down home, just like your grandmama made cornbread, and that's what she, everything I put in it is what she put in it, okay? This is what the squash looks like. So I'm gonna grab a fork and kind of stir it a little bit. See how it looks? See all the water? Before you couldn't even see the liquid. But squash makes water, right? So you don't need a whole lot. I put that chicken broth in there for flavor. So now, 
the seasonings and everything is down in there. It's gonna cook some more. So I'm gonna turn it down on a medium low. I've got it between medium and low on three. And I'm gonna put the top back on it and it's going to just simmer and cook. It smells delicious. I love the colors. It looks really good. So let's let this oven heat up and I'll see you in a minute for the corn. So I give that another good stir. Try to get it all in the pan. Shake it up, make sure it's even in the pan, and let's sit it in the oven. Still not as even as I'd like it. I'm keep shaking, 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 shaking. Get it even. I set it on that top row in the middle. And we're gonna set the stove to 25 minutes on the timer. I have to use a timer, you guys, because I'm not going to 25 because I'm not going to remember to look in 25 minutes so I always set a timer for myself it went off so it's done but it's not as crispy as my husband likes it I can eat it either way I can eat it like this but it's not as crisp, crispy as my husband likes it so I'm gonna set it on 10 minutes and I'm gonna try to check it in five oh, yeah. Get it off the oven. Looks really good. It's got a good color. Nice and crispy. I don't know if you can really see. Look at the crisp on the ends. Doesn't that look good? Let's turn the timer off in the oven. Look how crispy those ends are. Put another coat of butter. Mm -mm. That looks good. The squash is where we like it. I put a little more um, pepper on it. I like to see the pepper on my squash. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. That chicken. Just how we like it. See that? I hope you can see it. It's not... It's still juicy because that's what the air fryer does, but it's got a little crisp on it. My husband likes it like that. And we got to give daddy what he wants. You know what I mean? Oh, that looks so good. Doesn't that look good? Can you see it? Oh, that looks so good. Mm -mm. So I'm just going to sit this in the oven and I'm going to sit the... I'm gonna sit this in the oven and I'm actually gonna put the corn, sit the cornbread back in the oven because my husband's not home. I was thinking that I'm gonna do that and I think it'll be okay. My husband's not home, it's not time to eat. So I'll just stick it back in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like but I got one of the wings mmm 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 the skin is crispy and it's juicy on the inside and it's flavor so good mmm 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 and it's piping hot so good so when I fix my plate I'll show you that too okay See you guys in a little bit. Okay, y'all. I got two wings, a bunch of squash with um, peppers and onions, and I heated up some leftover dressing from yesterday, from Saturday night's dinner. I didn't get cornbread because I got dressing, but when my husband fixes his plate, 
I'll show you what the cornbread looks like. But I'm so excited. So that's the meal for the day, y'all. It's Monday night, and that's how we doing it in the Vaughn household.